Hello there. If you're a trader using the CTrader trading platform for algorithmic trading uh, for your automated robots, then you might want to watch this video. So this video is made for people that want to run their robots. They want to test their robots with backtesting. Okay. If you want to know what backtesting is, we have a separate video that explains what backtesting is, or if you just Google it, it'll tell you more information. We also have a blog article you can look up on our website. Um, so if you already know what backtesting is, this is going to allow you show you to how, how to get much more data, much more historical data, market data for testing your strategies. So as you know, if you run the DAX, for example, uh, with my broker FX Pro, I only get 11 months worth of data. This will show you how to get four years worth of data, which is, you know, four times more the amount of data to test your strategies. So you've got um, a better understanding how your strategies will, strategies will work over time. OK, so if you just go to the website, click algo.com and then you click under historical market data. In here, this tells you pretty much what I'm about to tell you now on a video. This actually explains how to use the widget we've got from Ducos Copy. Uh, Ducos Copy is another trading platform, but they provide data uh, for a variety of instruments free of charge. Now, the data on its own won't work with CTrader. It'll only work with Ducos Copy. So we've built an application that will actually convert that data into a format to be used with CTrader. Another thing you'll come across is that because it's on the internet, if you try and download, for example, 10 years worth of data, the browser will probably time out. Um, we found that it only really works for two years with our browser, which is Google Chrome. So anything more than two years, we find it, it stops and it times out. Because if you imagine it's actually 10 years worth of data can be half a terabyte. It can be like 500 gigs. Um, so, sorry, not gigs, megs, <laughs> half a gigabyte, not half a terabyte. So something like 10 years worth of data is a lot of, uh, it's about half a gigabyte. So that amount of data which is 500 megabytes. It's a lot of data for the browser to handle. And you might have software that handles that. So we found that just by doing two years at a time, so creating two years files, you, you create many files, and then the software will allow you to actually append that data. So it allow you to actually merge all of those files into one single large file, which means that you can then use a very large amount of data. You can download the data in separate steps on the website. So each time you do, say, two years, it's something like 60 megs, megabytes. And then you get something like 10, for example, 60 megabytes data, and then you can merge them into one file. OK, so I'm going to show you how to use this widget in a minute. I'm just going to scroll down the page just to show you that there are uh, steps. You know, if, if your understanding of the English language is um, not that good, you might be able to use at the top of the page here, you've actually got, if I show you, you've actually got uh, buttons here that allow you to translate the text into your language. So you can actually read the language down here and understand how to do it if you don't understand the English language too well. Um, this will tell you how to download the data, any errors you might come across, and then it tells you about the software that we've got that will actually convert that data. If you just click on this link here, it will take you to the software page where you can learn how to use it. We're also doing a separate video showing you how to use that software. OK, so this soft, this video is just going to show you how to download the data. We also have some fam sample files that we've downloaded already, which is the euro dollar, which is 14 years worth of data and the DAX, which is four years or nearly four years. OK, so you can just uh, import these into CTrader and run these files to see uh, what the data is like and how your automated strategies work with that data. If you want to know how to import external uh, CSV files into CTrader. We've actually got a, a blog and a video here. So you can actually watch this video and it'll actually tell you how to import your data into CTrader. OK, so what I'm going to do is quickly show you how to uh, use this widget and install, uh, sorry, to download CSV files to be used by the software that converts into CTrader format. OK. So I'm just, in here you can see you've got Forex commodities indices and stocks. You've got quite a lot of instruments that you can use. Um, yeah, you might get that coming up first time. So first time you do this, there's like there's like an advertising pop up that will come up anyway from Ducos Copy. You can ignore that or you can go and look at the Ducos Copy website. So if I put the uh, majors on here and I just go to Euro Dollar, you click on the Euro Dollar. Um, C Trader only allows one minute data. Uh, one minute, you know, candle bar data. So if you look at the import, uh, the web, the video that showed you how to import data, it will actually show you that you can only, at this current time with CTrader, import one minute data. 
Um, in the future, they might increase it to one tick, but the good thing about this Ducos Copy widget is you can download data in tick format, which is very useful. So when Ctrader upgrade their uh, server, uh, sorry, the server, the platform, to allow uh, tick data, then you can just use this tool. So I'm going to go to one minute. You can choose bid or ask. Um, now we select the from date. So I'm just going to do a quick example. I'm only going to go 2016 to 2017. So I'm going to go January 2016. So it's 1st of January 2016. Then I'm going to go to the 1st of January 2017. Actually, because it might take a while, I'm only going to do something like three. I'll do two months worth of data just to quickly show you. So I'm going to go to February, 1st of February. So 1st of January, 1st of February, that's just one month of data, okay? Um, you can choose the units there. I'm going to choose millions. You can choose your local time or GMT time. So the actual time that's going to be in the CSV file, uh, the date time for each uh, entry, um, you can choose as your local time, which it picks up on your machine automatically, or GMT. I'm going to choose GMT, and I'm going to download. Now to download, it's going to ask you to create an account if you've not used it before. So it will just say create an account. You just create an account down here. Don't worry about your phone number or anything like that. You can put a fictitious one in. This is just, um, you don't need a demo account. This is just so uh, Ducos Copy is saying, you know, they might want to contact you, take a platform out with them. Because you're using Ctrader, you only just want to use the widget, really. And because we're using this widget, which comes from them, if you want to look at their platform, feel free, obviously. Um, so I already have an account with them, with my address. Try to mind putting out, giving out my email address, because nobody messages me anyway. And if I put on this one, if I sign in on that one, oops, invalid password. Okay, you only have to do this once. So you only have to log in once, and then you can do um, as multiple downloads. You can do as many downloads as you want. Okay, um, so you don't have to log in every time. It's only the first time you actually go in and use it. So you can save it as CSV, which is what you want to do. And you've got HST, which is the format for uh, Ducos Copy. So if I save as CSV, now it saved the candle to my downloads directory. If I open it up, it'll open it up in Excel. Now, one thing I want to say is that um, if you are using Excel, I'll just drag it across. This is the format it comes in, comes in across in. If you are using Excel um, and you download, for example, I don't know, say you download, don't say that, say you download a lot of data, it won't show all the data in Excel because it, it, Excel can only take in so much uh so much file size, it won't open it all up. So you can't do your manipulation within Excel. You really, if you want to uh, do manipulation of the data files, you've got to use SQL Server or something like that. So this is just an example to show you how to download it. I would advise only doing two years at a time. So the, um, I'll tell you why later. I'll show you why you need to do two years. But if you do do more than two years, if you select, uh, if I reset there and I selected, for example, more than two years, it will start downloading and then it will just time out. The browser, will, the browser will time out. Because the file sizes that are being involved, you're downloading, say, 60 megabytes or more, um, it's recommended, we found, and when we were testing it, only to do two years at a time. And then that way you can load that into the uh, converter software and then you can merge all these files into one big file. Um, and another thing is like you can't do that in Excel, that's why you have to use this software. So you'll see it when we use the software, you'll just install the source file, you can select your export folder, and it will export the files. Each uh, two year file is about one to, two, one to one and a half million rows of data, uh, and it's about between 60 and 96 megabytes or 100 megabytes. So they are quite big, but we'll show you also in another video how to use this software, and it will show you how to append the software to a, the existing file. So what you do is you download, say that you downloaded 10 years worth of data, uh, which is five files, two years each one. Uh, you can merge them all into the single file by, by loading it and then converting it and create a single file. And that single file would be, for example, I don't know, 300, um, 300 megabytes in size. This is why you can't really open it up in Excel. Um, and you need to use this software to do it, really. And this also con converts a lot of columns and data so that it would be imported. So a separate video will show you how to use the, uh, the convert software here, which I'll just quick click on the link at the end just to quickly show you. So this is the software here. Uh, we're selling it currently at this price. And this actually goes into detail how to use the convert software, what the uh, format is when you export it, 
um, and we're just going to put this video at the bottom showing you it. So this is a separate one. There's a limited version as well. The limited version will only allow you to um, convert two years worth of data at a time. So you can't merge the whole lot into one go. So you could back test um, two years worth of data going back um, way before the amount of data you can get currently with Ctrader. Okay. So we'll show you that in a separate video. But this video was just to quickly show you how to use the widget to download information. One thing, oh yeah, before you go, I just want to quickly tell you as well. Um, you'll get a common problem here, which is say incomplete data period. Okay. Now this will occur if you get this message coming up saying incomplete data period. The chances are that you've selected a from date before the data that they've got. What I'm trying to say is that um, say you've got euro dollar. I think that starts at 2003 or 2004. If they don't have, if you selected say 1996, um, the the Ducas copy will probably not have that data going back to 1996, so you'll get that error. So really, for each instrument, you'll have to just do trial and error. So if you just do, uh, if you start off by doing say two months worth of data, and then just go back in time, then you'll, when you stop getting this error message here, incomplete data, you know you've got the start date. So if you did, for example, 2000, okay, January to 2000, uh, January uh, to February 2000 and it gave you the data, you know you've got data, there is data there for, for the year 2000, January to February. So you then you can do the year 2000, January to uh, 2002 and get your two years worth of data and then you just download many of those until you get to 2000, the current date really, and then you use the software to convert it and merge it into a single file. And we've already tested um, th something like three or four hundred megabytes CSV file and imported it into Ctrader and ran a back test and it does work so that's fine. Okay so if you look at the other video uh, that's on uh, YouTube this will be another video showing you how to actually use this software and how to convert it.